What is going on you guys, it's Nova, welcome back. And earlier today, this morning, Pearl Abyss, the developers behind Black Desert, announced three upcoming projects that have been in development for some time. And I'll leave a link to these articles down below if you're interested in reading on your own time. Pearl Abyss also mentioned that they will be releasing more information, including trailers and other details about these upcoming projects during G-Star 2019 starting on November 14th, which is about a week away, which is where these three titles will debut. Now as of right now, we don't have a lot of concrete information on these projects besides what was sent out to subscribers via the English press kit. So what we know now is surely going to change next week with the official announcements. And I'll have details on the official announcements down below in the description box. Now one of the first titles that was announced is a game known as Plan 8, an exosuit MMO shooter being co-developed by Min Lee, who was one of the co-creators of Counter-Strike. Plan 8 is actually said to be far different than anything the Korean company Pearl Abyss has ever done before. Black Desert's environmental art director, Si Young Ki Lee, also has his name attached to this project. Now whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, I think we'll discuss that in the comments. Now when I think about an MMO shooter, one of the first games that comes to mind is Destiny. Now Destiny has obviously had its ups and downs, and with the amount of revenue that has been compiled from Black Desert over the years, because you have to suspect that a lot of the income that has been going towards the development of these three projects came from BDO. And since these projects started development within the past year or so, I have an interesting feeling as to how uh, Plan 8, this MMO shooter, is going to be presented to the world. Plan 8 is going to be the first shooting game released by Pearl Abyss, and I believe I can say that this game, you'll be ziplining, exo-flying, exo-jumping from various different vertical and horizontal constructs throughout the game. Now next on our list, we have a casual, collectible MMORPG for all ages, known as Dok V or Doki V. And I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments. But it was formerly known as Project V. Now, Dok V is being led by Sang Young Kim, the former animation director of BDO, and Sung Wong Choi, the former game design director of BDO. Dok V is one of those cutie anime like MMORPGs, sort of similar to Maple Story. Now, from the images that were released, it sort of has me getting that Pokemon vibe to it. As you can see, it sort of seems like you'll have little companions or pets that follow you around as you venture out into the world. But that's all speculation derived from me, and that could be completely wrong or it could be completely right. Now in the press release, it was emphasized on this project that it will be a collectible MMO, which suggests that you'll be able to collect and possibly trade with other players throughout the game. Now this sort of seems like it's going to be a mobile port first and eventually come to PC or vice versa or both at the same time. And the reason why I say that is because of the collectible part. You remember back in the day when it came to Pokemon, in order to catch them all or collect them all, you needed to be mobile with your Pokemon games to trade with other people because certain titles had certain Pokemon that you could only get from that said title. So I think this project, Doki V, might be similar or might draw similar aspects of old Pokemon games to emphasize and encourage players to collect and trade. Now the final game on the list and the reason why I saved it for last is because this, as it was mentioned in the press release, is going to be Pearl Abyss's next flagship MMO. And this is a really big deal because when you consider something to be a flagship, that to me makes it seem like they're putting all their eggs into this one basket and going balls deep into this project. Crimson Desert is an open world MMORPG set in an epic fantasy world. In a war for survival, three tribes will fight for control of the Pywell continent. And that's pretty much all that I can say about the game as of right now. 
Crimson Desert has been in development since the second half of 2018 by Jason Jung, the former game design director of Risk Your Life Online. Working alongside Jason is one of Korea's most famous first-generation developers, Dae Kim, who is actually the founder of Pearl Abyss itself. Edder Lee, the former lead combat designer of Risk Your Life, is going to be in charge of the action combat system for the title. So that means that the game is going to be an action combat MMORPG set in an epic fantasy world. Similar to other Pearl Abyss titles, it seems like Crimson Desert will have different factions which in turn will allow you to choose certain classes or races from those factions. And if that's the case, I guess the best that we can hope for in a scenario like that is no gender locked or race locked classes. One of the things that I've noticed from reading these articles in the press release is that a lot of the current and former developers who worked on Black Desert have uh, seemingly flipped a switch to work on these other projects. Now in the gaming industry, usually what this means is that the current live project isn't going to be getting a lot of attention. Now with this project being in the limelight, that doesn't necessarily mean that Black Desert is shutting down. In my eyes, what this means is that there might be far less additions added to BDO and other Pearl Abyss games, as a lot of the attention is being geared towards these three projects. As of right now, like I mentioned earlier, the information that we have today isn't as concrete as it will be next week with the official announcements. In my perspective, I feel like Crimson Desert is going to overshadow Black Desert if it's done correctly. We don't know anything about the game besides the three tribes or factions, and that it's an open world epic fantasy MMORPG, which could literally mean anything. So what I want to know from you guys down below in the comments is what do you think of these projects so far? Do you think BDO and other Pearl Abyss titles will suffer at the expense of these upcoming projects? What platform do you think these titles will release on? And do you think they will be buy to play, free to play, or a subscription with a feature of both buy and free to play models? Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you want me to continue making videos on these projects as more information comes out, feel free to drop this video a like. And with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, my city needs me, and I'm out. Oh,